Chef Pennington here. Today we've got a very cool cut of meat, guys. This is sirloin flap. A lot of people have never heard of sirloin flap, mainly because there's only 12 pounds per cow, so there hasn't been a ton of it available, but it's becoming mainstream now. You can find it at places like Whole Foods, Central Market, Mexican grocery stores. A little bit of looking you can find it these days, and it's amazing, guys. And you can see it's well-priced. $10.99 for a specialty cut like this. Amazing. And wait till you look at it, guys. This stuff almost looks like Wagyu beef. It is highly marbled, and it's sirloin, which means pretty much anything that says sirloin when you're coming to, to beef means it's got a lot of flavor. And this fat in here is going to render beautifully in the Instapot, which is awesome. We're not going to be eating a fatty cut of meat. The fat is going to actually baste and help keep our piece of meat really moist when we cook it. And the best part is it's done in 25 minutes. So we're going to put some salt on there first, like Himalayan sea salt. And then we're going to use some dry rub. And I've got a special offer for you guys. This is my personal secret dry rub that I've I've started giving away to people that sign up for our newsletter. So the link will be below for that if you're interested. Otherwise, just use your favorite barbecue dry rub or any dry rub for that matter. It's up to you guys. I really, really like Himalayan sea salt. I'll have a link below for you guys. Check that out too. It's just really healthy. It has like over 50 elements from the periodic table in it, which means that it's a powerhouse of good stuff that your body actually needs. So give it a good rub here. Get the dry rub in there. Let it sit for a couple of moments. Just helps the dry rub get deeper into the meat. I'd say five to ten minutes. It's up to you. You don't have to. Here's a cool tip for cleaning the Instapot. The rims is just really weird to get in there when you're trying to clean it. So toothpick really helps you keep it nice and clean. So that's a good little tip. We want to use the roasting rack because we're going to put some liquid in here. And we don't want the liquid to touch the meat. So we're using one and a half cups of water. And we're going to use some umami. We're going to put some delicious soy sauce. Who doesn't like soy sauce? It's kind of like extra sweetness and salt that's going to be pressurized. And that's going to be like steaming in the cavern, helping flavor our meat further. So place it in there. Just make sure that none of the liquid below is actually touching it. Okay? So that's key. And then we're going to secure the top. And something that's really important when using the Instapot, you have to make sure that this vent is turned over on sealing. If you don't do that, then when it starts pressurizing, you're going to see whatever's inside of your Instapot will want to come out. So make sure it's unsealing. We're going to use the beef stew because we're pressurizing, we're pressure cooking. We're going to make sure it's on normal pressure and we're going for 25 minutes. Since we don't have a lot of liquid inside the Instapot, it's going to turn on fairly quickly as far as it has to pressurize and then the, t the timer will start counting down. So teriyaki sauce, going to have a link below. All the measurements, all that kind of stuff, no problem. Once you mix it, the key is you put it on the stove and you let it cook a little bit and that cornstarch will thicken the sauce for us. So here's how you guys know it's safe to open. That thing drops down and that means that it's depressurized and it's safe to open. So that's really important. Some people are scared of pressure cookers and so knowing that is the key. So whenever the timer goes off, we're going to do a quick release. You don't want to slowly let the, the, the steam come out. Otherwise, it's going to overcook our meat. And we're going to go straight to our teriyaki sauce and glaze, and we're going to let it have a little drink. So as it sits there and it rests, it's going to be sucking in all that flavor, which is awesome. And we'll serve some of that on the side, too, so you can dip it in as you're eating it. So let's go ahead and take a little look. You guys can see how tender this is. And this cooked in 25 minutes. And you can see that the fat is actually rendered a great bit down. And you can see it's just juicy. I mean... This is cool. This eats like a steak, but it's it's more tender, you know, and that fat that we cooked out has helped. Look at the juices, guys. It's just such an amazing cut. So I really suggest you guys try sourcing some sirloin flap. It is kind of new for a lot of people, but it is a specialty cut, and it feels special when you're eating it. So we're doing a simple plating. You guys can do whatever makes you happy, but this is a beautiful cut of meat, so I like laying it out where you can actually see each cut and the beautifulness you know it's that type of meat when you see it and it's served to you you're going to be like man i want to eat that because it looks so beautiful so very simple plating nothing fancy but i do suggest fanning it out like that and here's a fancy little chef cut we're going to take some green onion here and we're going to cut roughly 45 degrees and it's going to make this beautiful little diamond patch we're cutting this on the bias and this is a wonderful very chefy garnish for everything you know whatever you guys want to put a little color to and just, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of it on there. And you guys are good to go. Make sure you keep some of the dipping sauce. And whenever you guys are 
you know, basting the meat, make sure that you pour some of that out before you just go straight from the sauce and to the meat once it's out. And you guys have got a delicious, wonderful piece of meat that your friends probably aren't cooking. So if you want that special little something, come join us on the social media. Love to have you. Go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed. I'm going to have a recipe card link below. You guys will have all the instructions with pictures and you guys have the best. Take care.